hello everyone again and welcome to my channel in today's video we'll be looking at hydrogen atom hamiltonian operator in quantum mechanics now in this video and future ones we will discuss and examine the following systems from quantum's viewpoints like for example we're going to be looking at particle in a box in our next video future videos will look at free particle followed by harmonic oscillator and next is particle in a ring and next in here is that and finally the rigid rotor and angular momentum they are related and we'll focus on that on our future videos now in this video we will consider a hydrogen atom that consists of a nucleus which is what we have over here and the nucleus consists of a proton in here and distance away from this proton is an electron which is a smaller particle in here and in this particular case our goal or question is how would we obtain the quantum mechanics picture of the hydrogen atom so in this particular case we have to take note that the showing just equation consists of a Hamiltonian operator which is actually expressed at this particular equation over here where the Hamiltonian e operator is multiplied by the wave function in the x y and z coordinates neglecting the time coordinates in here this is equal to the energy multiplied by the reproduced eigen function which is this particular wave function in here x y and z coordinates now the time is independent to this particular equation and this is an expression for a one particle system now in this particular case for a Hamiltonian operator what well, we realize that it is expressed as the sum of the kinetic energy operator which is represented as T and that of the potential energy which is represented as V so this is equal to the Hamiltonian and the sum of those energies relating to this is actually equal to E in there so in this particular part here we need to take note that the potential energy doesn't actually depend on time that is the reason why in here in our showing those equation we are removing the time coordinates because it is independent of this particular overall expression as it relates to our potential this is our potential energy and this is our kinetic energy operator so in this particular case let's focus on the first part which is our kinetic energy our kinetic energy in here with respect to the hydrogen atom is applicable to both the proton which is what we have here and that of our electron and the kinetic energy operator is expressed as this particular variable in here where h raised to the power 2 2 m multiplied by our Laplacian operator here for our proton or squared plus don't forget your negative sign here because it's important and that for our electron which is in the same expression as our proton in here Laplacian and that over there so take note that our Laplacian is actually expressed as d squared over dx squared plus d squared over dy squared plus d squared over dz squared. We are not including the time coordinates in here because time is an independent variable in this particular situation over here. So in this particular part, once you are able to recognize this particular formula, our next one is to focus next on our potential operator in here. And the potential operator energy is relative to the columbic force or energies between the proton and the electron in here. So as a result of that, for our columbic energy in here, what we have is negative because we have positive, which is proton, times negative which is electron which equals to negative in here times the quantity of charge all squared or equal to 4 
pi this multiplied by r so take note that our r here is actually equal to the distance between our proton and our electron both in the x y and z coordinates in there in the 3d space in here so therefore in this particular case the hamiltonian operator for the hydrogen atom with a proton nucleus and electron is expressed as this particular expression where we add our first kinetic operator in here with that of our potential energy operator in here to give us that over here which is our Hamiltonian operator for a hydrogen atom now this is actually the expression in quantum mechanics in here so that's about it for this particular video I hope you're able to understand this on our next video we will look at a particle in a one dimension box which is one of the five systems of quantum mechanics so all the same thanks for following me through this we truly appreciate it hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts hit the like share and subscribe by that way I can talk to you all later be smart